How are you going guys? Welcome back to NZ Mo Product Customs. So, what I want to talk, talk to you about today is so I'm just going to give you a quick, I guess, month review or thereabouts, might be a little bit longer than that. I've had this Tool Pro 12 volt polisher kit um, with a three year warranty that I picked up from Super Cheap Auto here in New Zealand, um, which is a bit like, I guess, your uh, Princess Auto in the Canada or Harbour Freight or whatever, the same sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I picked up this Tool Pro 12 volt polisher um, from Super Cheap here in New Zealand. They are in Australia as well. Um, I've had this for, yeah, about a month or so, um, and it's been awesome. It's been a great little polisher. Um, I mainly use it for restoring plastic headlights. Um, you know, give them a wet sand and then go over with obviously different compounds, you know, a bit of like a cutter compound and then obviously this wax cleaner sort of stuff, I use that as well. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely awesome little kit. Um, I recommend if you're doing, you are doing a lot of pop you just have it on the first speed. Um, it will run on the second as well, but... I find that if you just if you get a little bit much pressure for a bit long, um, it just it'll shut off. It just must go into a bit of an overload setting. But also just depends on the pressure. It might just a little bit heavy handed, but it works fine. I find that it, it polishes fine um, in nicely on the first setting flat out. But the, one of the one of the big things I use it for. And it's probably not something you thought of, but if you're doing a lot of welding, um, I'm, I'm sort of here and there with welding. Um, if I do obviously a lot of panel repair, but so I could be, you know, a couple of three weeks doing a lot of welding and then into body work and paint and whatever, you know, and assembly. So I might not touch the welder for maybe a month or two, but when I'm doing a lot of welding, I find that, um, the, you know, the old lens on your welding helmet gets grubby and dirty and whatever and it mightn't be burnt, burnt holes or anything like that but just it just generally builds up with that scum a bit like on the top of this helmet here i've just i've just cleaned the lens i just thought about what i was building but you know you get that you can see the top of that helmet it's all dirty like it's got that real scum on it from the welding gases and the fumes and dirt and you know and shit burning off well i just every now and again it probably depends on how much welding I do each day, but maybe every day or so, or week or so, I run over it with that wee buffer now. I used to have to pull the lens out and um, polish it, because like, I know the lenses aren't horrendously expensive, but if you're, throw, if you're doing a heavy amount of welding and you're throwing it away all the time, it's just wasted money, you know what I mean? But if you can turn around and shit, and it's getting grubby, 20 seconds, you know, with a bit of, I just use that wax cleaner, flick it on there, you know, for 20, 30 seconds, grab a rag, give it a quick buff off, might even move the inside of it, you know, because you're breathing the fumes, gets in there too, so it gets a bit, a bit hazy, a bit crappy, and man, you're, you're, the, the, day, the difference is night and day, sometimes, you know, especially if you haven't done it for a while, like, shit, that's getting bad, yeah. Great little tool for doing that. Saves getting a rag out, whatever. It's just so much faster. Now it used to take me five or ten minutes. Now by the time I pull the lens out, if I just have to disassemble it and give it a decent clean up by hand, it was with something like this, you know, for a hundred bucks or a bit over a hundred bucks. It was a hundred, I think it was a hundred and eight or something like that on special. Here when I bought it, I think it's about a hundred and twenty or hundred and thirty ish. Um, when it's not on special, it might be a little bit more than that, I can't remember. I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, this here, you know, for, for polishing headlights or small nooks and crannies when you're doing a polishing job. Um, the other day I um, sprayed my kitchen table because all the varnish on it, had it, had it for quite a long time. The varnish on it, for, you know, just for sitting in the sun, pouring through the windows. The UV had breaking the varnish down, but it after a clear didn't matter what we did to clean it, it just got sticky. Probably just raw. couldn't get it to come right, so I just I sanded it at the top of the table down and blew four or five coats of clean coat on it. 
gave it a quick wet sand and um, polished up with that just to give it a good test, you know. Like I'm talking a, um, you know, a decent size six, you know, probably get six or eight people around it. Yeah, no, you wouldn't get eight people around it because we've got three chairs down each side most of the time. So you get eight people like an eight seated dining table, you know, polished up with that. And I just went over it after I wet sanded it. Um, <laughs> it worked great. Um, so yeah, like, but my main use, apart from doing headlights and things like that, is clean my fucking welding him and it's just awesome. 20 seconds, quick to polish off the rag, and you're done. So, invaluable tool. Um, but these, this brand is not something I would have thought of, but I just seen it the other day when I was looking, flipping through it. Thing. I'm going to get one of them. Um, I thought it'll, it'll be handy, you know. The main reason I bought it was to polish headlights. But after I got it, oh, shit, I'm going to get it to clean the fucking wood mm -hmm. too. And it's just invaluable for that. You know, there's nothing worse than you can't see through a dirty lens. You know, saves changing out. Zzz, done. So, yeah. Awesome tool. I'm actually going to be very tempted to buy the 3 8 um, Ratchet and Impact in the same series. They do make a bigger battery for these. These are only small. Um, these are, I've seen the Milwaukee 12 volt series. It's very, very similar battery. It's not the same, but it's very similar size. But they do actually make a bigger capacity one, which is a, like a bit big, like it's got a big chunky block on the end of it. Um, what are these? These are um, two amp hour. I think they are like a four or five amp hour. You know, obviously with a heap more capacity in them. But yeah, well, great little toolkit. Really impressed. I actually thought a few years ago when I was first seen this brand and they were bringing out tool power tools like this, I thought they might have been a bit junky. But nah, it's good, it's solid, it's robust like it is. That's heavy. It's heavy, heavy. I think, I think it's brushless. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, say whether it's brushless or not. I might have read it on a website or something like that, if you know what I mean. And it comes with that little, this is, this is a torch. It comes with that kit. But it's not horrendous. Look, it's bright, but it's not horrendous, if you know what I mean. But it's just handy enough. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I read it was brushless somewhere, but I'm just not 100% sure. It doesn't actually say on the, um, just said two-speed gearbox, whatever, variable speed. Um, yeah, I can't remember where it's read it was brushless. And they do have other, like drills and ratchets and die grinders and everything that runs all in the same family. So yeah, I'm very tempted to get some of them, them and try them out. So yeah, if you're in the market for something like this, yeah, great little thing. Three year warranty. So if it shits itself in three years and you've used the crap out of it. <laughs> oh, oh, um, they'll replace it basically. So yeah, great little kit. Um, so far. I can highly recommend it. So, yeah. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. And yeah, if you want to know something, um, or whatever, if you're not sure, or maybe if there's a detail that I've missed that you want to know, if I know, <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, your handle can go on either side, just the point of reference. And it comes with the three, comes with that little sponge pad, black sponge pad and the, the little wool. And these, you can buy these in a kit for, oh, I think it's 15 or 20 bucks or something like that for these replacements. And this here does come off too. And they can replace this as well. So yeah, it's just got like a, I don't know, whatever, whatever thread that is, looks like. Probably, I'm not sure if it's 8 mil or something. 516, the little thread on there. So it's 
sort of fairly universal, yeah. So yeah, and that's uh, 70, 70 mil, that pad, backing pad, backing pad. I've covered this before anyway, in our videos. I think I'll read that. Yeah. I think when you read something and then you take your 3 inch, your 75 mil backing pads, so that's 3 inch. And so these up here are all 3 inch. And this is a little, obviously it's just a, it's a little bit bigger than that with the diameter of the wall. So, but it's still basically 3 inch, 3 and a bit inch little buffer. Polish it. So, yeah, awesome little kit. Thanks for watching. I'll tell you what, just to throw in there in this video, I might use it in another video too. Now, what else is this thing good for? For cleaning up the window on this freaking thing. Like, <laughs> like, where it's this is quite clean, this end, where it's not so bad down here, but like, it was like worse. Than what it is in this corner, you know. I'll just give it a quick run over. I used the wall pad with a bit of cutter and then the and the wax cleaner afterwards. Obviously, I gave it a good blow down and a quick wipe down with a wet rag for a start off, just to get the worst of the grit and shit off it. But you know, if I go a bit longer and polish it up a bit better, because it like I know it's got the plastic film on the inside, but the outside of it gets scratched up and shitty too. So with all the dirt and the dust and shit around the place and over spray from painting and whatever um because i don't have a booth because i would like to put it in there where that tractor is and make a booth <laughs> i've got a heap of like what um like that core foot core flute plastic sign so i would like to actually line that and build it up whatever not my stuff so but all that's what i'd like to do in there and put some heap of lights in there and turn that into a spray booth because it's as wide as what this is so it would be as deep as this and as wide as this, like it wouldn't, it would be nice to have it longer, but it's a really good width for painting quite a bit of stuff, like it's that bench, so it's from here to over to this line, that's the same size as in there, it's bloody wide in there, so it'd be really handy to turn into a paint booth, but, or a makeshift paint booth, but yeah, um, yeah, so when I get all the overspray and everything on here, and all the dirt and shit, and I haven't, I haven't used this for ages, um, but yeah, now I can see in there, so that's something else this thing is really good for. Um, but yeah, it just, it doesn't really like, like it doesn't like being on the wall pad with two, like if you're using, if you're using really light pressure, like you shouldn't be pushing hard anyway, but you know what I mean? If you just weave it heavy, it'll um, run for a while and then switch off and then run for a while and switch off. But if you just, if you run it on one, um, it'd be nice if it didn't switch off that's probably my only gripe I just I wish it would hold its own under the two but it, it's alright if you're just using really light pressure and you don't like especially for something like that where you're actually trying to clean, clean the shit off you wouldn't be doing it when you're trying to polish your car or anything like that but if you got it trying to work a bit trying to actually get some crap off they're using a bit of cutter and not just misting a wee bit of water on every now and again just to try to clean the shit off and actually using a little bit of pressure it doesn't like it on number two but apart from that awesome little tool kit um yeah and really handy in an environment like this if you're doing welding and painting and whatever like you want to clean up your welding helmet or like say clean up like a glass in there or something like that freaking awesome anyway i'll get to what i was doing i just thought i just when I was looking to look at that before, I couldn't see through, through, through the bars, so like, I better clean it, so I was just thought I'd add that. I should have done half of it and showed you the difference, but yeah, you get the idea. Awesome little toolkit. Just saves so much manual hand time, you know. It, that takes from a, takes, I don't know, that took me two or three minutes to give that a really good clean up. So if I'd done that by hand. Um, you know, it might have taken me half an hour or 15 minutes, you know, so it's the time saver Just freaking handy and not expensive. I know they um, Milwaukee and a few others make a Tools like this very similar. So one of those might be really good too. So if you don't have something like this go grab it 
absolutely awesome if you're doing fab work and sandblasting and painting and welding and whatever. You'll use it all the freaking time um, for just cleaning up those things, you know, cleaning lenses and whatever. You know, and you can polish your freaking headlights and whatever else with it too. So awesome little piece of kit.